Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to take a look at this, a titanium canteen. And we're going to ask the question, is it really worth the money? Thanks for watching. So titanium cookware kind of came on the scene around 2012. And since then it's become progressively more available and progressively less expensive. Now it's still much more expensive than other traditional uh, materials such as stainless steel or aluminum, but it's getting much better. Obviously you're gonna save a ton of weight when you compare it to traditional stainless steel. So over the last several years I've seen lots of people with heavy cover canteens. Now heavy cover and a company called Keith Titanium has co-produced or co-branded this particular titanium canteen. So I've used the Pathfinder School stainless steel canteen cook set. I love it and this is not a knock on it at all. This is simply a comparison between the stainless steel, which costs about $50, and the titanium, which costs about $150, $160. Huge difference. Now, I recently was lucky enough to get this for my birthday from my family, so I'm pretty excited about it, and I've wanted to get it for several years. It's just a lot of money to spend on a canteen. So like I said above, this is the Keith Canteen. Now, this is the exact same canteen as the Heavy Cover. They're just co-branded, okay? You can see it's got a ridge here, which is where the cup sits against. It's got a very nice top, okay? It's got a nice O-ring that keeps it waterproof. It's very lightweight. We'll look at the weight here in a little while. The top also has this little D-ring that you can use right there, okay? You can use this to hang it from anything. You can put a carabiner on there, whatever it might be. You can hang it to the side of your pack, etc. The canteen has a capacity of 1100 milliliters or 1.1 liters. Now this is the cup, and I do like this cup a little bit better than the stainless steel for several reasons from the design standpoint. First of all, this top locks on there pretty good, okay? And you could buy a top that latches on like this, for example, from Self-Reliance Outfitters. So it's not a major issue, but this one does come with a top that stays on pretty good. It has a nice little loop on the top here that you can grab it with. But what I like more than anything is this handle design. This side, it's got this extra bar right here, and what that does is it creates a spot for it to hang on. So basically, it gives you a really nice, comfortable grip that you can hold it by, and it's a lot better form factor than the traditional canteen, which flips up from the back and locks in place. This is super easy. Nothing on the bottom to kind of get in the way. None of that extra material here that can sometimes get stuck on the side of the bag, etc. Really, really simple. Capacity of this cup is 700 milliliters or 0.7 liters. So quickly, you can see the difference between the two models. This is the stainless steel. The major difference besides the weight, of course, is that this has a very large mouth opening on the top. And I really do like that. I wish this had a little bit larger mouth opening. If you're using, for example, a SteriPen to try to sterilize your water, you'll probably still get it into this stainless steel model, but you can't do it here on the titanium. Just a quick look at the form factor difference between the cups. Again, you can see this is the traditional uh, handle that flips underneath, okay? Whenever you store it, you're basically gonna flip it underneath like that, and it's gonna store like that. This does leave these pieces right here, which can easily get caught on things, which I'm not a big fan of. You can see the difference with that and this particular design where you can handle it like this, and it's much easier to stow by just putting them side like this, like a traditional butterfly type handle. All right, so let's start with the canteen titanium version. We've got 160 grams, or five and five eighths ounces, and the stainless steel version, 329 grams, or 11 and five eighths. Now, as far as the stainless steel cup with lid, we've got 140 grams, or four and seven eighths ounces, and the stainless steel cup, 299 grams, or 10 and a half ounces. So putting everything together, cup and canteen, We've got 301 grams, or 10 and 5 eighths ounces. For the stainless steel, we've got 627 grams, or one pound, six and an eighth ounce. It's obviously a pretty big difference. So that's a look at the details between these particular products. I wanted to compare these particular ones because I think the Pathfinder School kit is very representative of a very high quality, good, affordable stainless steel kit. Uh, definitely worth the money and I've carried it for years and I'll continue to carry it at times. Comparing that to this, which is the Keith, or basically like I said, the same as the heavy cover titanium canteen. Looking at both those because they're so common on the internet. There are some positives to both and I think they're worth mentioning. The titanium, of course, is very low weight. I think the design changes they've made as far as the handles for the cup make a big difference. The tight fitting lid makes a big difference. And I think overall, ergonomically, it's very good. The Keith titanium kit that I bought came with this, which is a really nice cover, but it's actually pretty well made. It comes with a strap to carry it with. It has a really nice lip on the inside to hold the top, which is nice, so you can slide the top into this case, and it works really, really well. The properties of titanium are pretty well known. It's relatively non-stick. It's non-toxic, 
Uh, it transfers heat very well. Uh, it gets hot very quickly. It gets cold very quickly. Those can be good things. Stainless steel, of course, is probably a little bit more durable, although I think if you take care of this titanium kit, you're not gonna have any problems with durability. You're gonna get a lot less hot and cold spots with the stainless steel because it does distribute the heat quite a bit more evenly, and it's probably gonna overall be better to cook with, but again, do you want to save the weight? Many people do. I was interested in saving the weight. That's why I wanted to get this for my birthday. One of the things that I do like a lot about the Pathfinder School is that you can use this fish spreader to hold it uh, over an open flame. Now, of course, you can do this with a titanium just by putting some kind of a bale on it, but just for y'all to know, this does work just fine here. And you can use the same fish spreader, add some weight because it's stainless steel, but that's a really good option in case you want to hang it over a fire. So that's a quick look at a titanium canteen cook set and what you get for the weight. Is it worth it from the weight standpoint? Absolutely, who wouldn't want to save 12 ounces? Now, is it worth it from the money standpoint? That's a personal decision. Everybody's gonna decide that on their own. Some people say it's worth $150 to save almost a pound. Buy all kinds of stuff to save weight, like ultralight backpacks, ultralight tents, uh, sleeping quilts that are ultralight. So why not buy an ultralight cook kit? Makes sense to me. The benefit of the titanium canteen is that you can boil water in it very easily. Basically, this canteen weighs less than an algae. That's a pretty big deal. Of course, it also costs a lot more than an algae, which is also a very big deal. Over the coming months, I'm gonna be using this kit extensively. I'm gonna be using it over an open fire. I'm gonna be cooking with it. I'm gonna be doing lots of videos with it to see how it performs. This is a quick look at it just to see how it compares weight-wise and form and function. In case any of you guys out there are interested in buying a titanium cook kit, this gives you an idea of what it's all about. So stay tuned over the next couple of months and we're gonna use this more and more and see how well it holds up. Does it hold up well to the open flame of a fire? Does it hold up well carrying it, putting it in and out of a pack, all that stuff? We're gonna find out soon enough. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe as well. If you wanna be the first to know when I make a new video, hit that little ding dong bell and you'll be notified as soon as I release a new video. Pretty excited about all the stuff coming up here on the channel and I'm most excited because the leaves are starting to fall outside, which means it's starting to get cooler, which means I'm gonna start getting out in the woods more. As I said, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.